Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Universe Revealed. In our previous episode, Hitler and Alien Technology, we promised to give more information on Hitler's wonder weapons. So as promised, we will dig into Hitler's Wunderwaffe, meaning super weapons, which shake the world. Let us take a look into four wonder weapons of Hitler, some of which reached the combat field and some still a mystery for us to rummage. V2 Rocket V2 Rocket was the world's first large-scale liquid propellant rocket developed between 1936 to 1945 in Germany. Sometime you may get to hear about it as a V2 missile or A4 German ballistic missile of World War II or the forerunner of modern space rocket and long-range missiles. It is regarded as a revolutionary breakthrough in rocket technology, with the use of liquid fuel increasing its thrust capability and making it the first artificial object to enter space. However, before it became the famous V2, Von Braun as a project leader and the genius team had to go through a heap of obstructions. The story of how great V2 was, I believe we heard about it thousand times. Because as you know, without V2 missile project and the founder team, Jono 1 of America and Sputnik PS of Russia might had no chance to born on that time. And so, the Apollo 11, the first rocket which took Neil Armstrong to land on the moon. Once Von Braun said, it would have been preferable to develop rocketry for space travel rather than war, but if it was necessary to develop a war rocket to reach the space, he was willing to do so. The V-2 missile killed 9,000 soldiers and civilians in England and Netherlands. The first successful launch was from Pinemunde on 3rd October 1942, reaching a height of 192 km. The first used as a weapon exploded in Paris on 8th September 1944, with the second rocket exploding in London later that day. Over 3,000 V-2 were used by Germans against the Allied targets in World War II. Let's see the specification of V-2. The V-2 was 14 meters long, weight around 12,700 to 13,200 km at launching, and developed about 60,000 pounds of thrust, burning alcohol and liquid oxygen. First designed and produced at Pinemunde Army Research Center, later it was bombed by the Allies. Hitler ordered to move the project to somewhere more hidden. Then after 1944, the main production was in Mittelwerk, a factory built underground in Kostein, North German. The Mittelwerk facility also was built in a wonder way. To avoid the Allies, Nazi built the facility. Cave underground consisted of two main parallel tunnels, A and B each approximately 6,200 feet in length. The tunnels ran in a shallow S-shaped curve and were connected by a series of 46 cross galleries, each about 500 feet long spaced at regular intervals. Houghton Ho 229 the Ho 229 had been designed in 1944 in response to a call by Hermann Göring, the head of the aerial warfare branch of the German Wehrmacht before and during World War II. To counter the Allies, German would invent the production of next generation weapon systems. Among these experiments was a new type of aircraft that was so revolutionary and decade ahead of its time forever changed the aerospace industry. This novel aircraft was the Hotenho 229, 
a stealth jet fighter in the shape of a bat. Luftwaffe ordered its best engineers to design a new high-speed bomber that could evade Allied radar. The plane that could fly 1,000 km per hour, carrying 1,000 kg of bombs, and have enough fuel to reach 1,000 km and get back. The Houghton brothers, Raymer and Walter, reached to the challenge and evolved the Ho 229V3, a revolutionary aircraft that looked and operated like nothing that came before it. The bat-shaped jet was capable of reaching 975 km per hour and exhibited smooth handling with good stall resistance. Following with four edition prototype, series number V4 to V7, one of which was a two-seated night fighter. However, the production's versions never had the chance to fly. The war was going very badly at that point and the Allies were fighting within Germany's borders. In April 1945, American troops rolled into the factory of Friedrich Kroda, where the Ho 229 was being produced. They found the cockpit sections of prototypes in various stages of development. The most complete of the four, a Hohen Ho 229 V3 prototype, was shipped back to America to get studied by American engineers with the words, Luckily for the Allies, this formidable jet plane wasn't fully completed before the war ended. The Sun Gun The Sun Gun or Heliobis is a theoretical orbital weapon which make use of a concave mirror mounted on a satellite to concentrate sunlight onto a small area at the Earth's surface, destroying targets or killing through heat. The project leader of this fatal weapon was the famous rocket scientist Harman Obert. The original ideas of using a gargantuan mirror in space was to supply the Earth with sunshine anywhere on the globe. He called this concept the space mirror. But later the project name was changed to the ultimate weapon. Hermann Oberth was a German physicist and engineer. He is regarded as one of the founding fathers of rocket science and astronautics. He was only 14 years old when he made his first rocket model. During the Nazi period, he was said to have been involved in the development of the V2 rocket. After the war, he worked under his former student, Wember von Braun, who developed space rocket research for NASA and had previously researched for Nazi. Let's get back to Sun Gun. By the interview of Harman, the project was supposed to work as a space station with a manned crew from where the sun rays could be concentrated. It was extremely implausible at that time but later the development made it seem possible. In 1945, German was undergoing an incredible acceleration of scientific and engineering ideas. Harman project was turned into a weapon to win the war, but fortunately it never got far. Otherwise, Google Earth may not happen to service us today. Miniature tank. In World War II, Nazi had an arsenal of technological weapons systems that were used against the Allies. One of their most surprising ideas was the miniature tank or Goliath tracked mine, also referred to as Nazi midget demolition tank. It was seen in battlefield action in 1942, roughly 2 feet tall, 3 feet wide and 5 feet long. Created by German automaker Karl F. W. Borgberg. The miniature tank carried explosive over to a target as unmanned suicide bomb. 
first few series could not operate without a long cable attached to them. Later, models received longer and longer cables and eventually they were able to travel and controlled by joystick. The initial of remote control series design was powered by batteries and electric motor. Borgward upgraded his previous model with the SDKF2 303A by replacing the electric motor with a two-cylinder gasoline engine, vastly expanding its range to more than seven miles and making it more reliable when operating in the field in 1942. The final model called SDKFZ 303B. It was introduced to the battlefield in 1944 with a May payload of more than 220 pounds of explosives. It was the largest and most advanced Goliath miniature tank. The Wehrmacht Nazi used these everywhere from Normandy Beach to the Alps to against obstacles and threats, including barbed wire, bunker, landmines, tanks, and anti-personnel. An estimated manufacturing 7,500 units with a top speed during the World War II, as well as many aliens projects of Nazi, which always became a first incarnation of modern era technology. Deadly, by intended purpose of the miniature tanks, post-war legacy was a bit more peaceful than other military technology. While the V-2 flying bomb was the grandfather of the intercontinental ballistic missile, the Goliath miniature is the progenitor for today's RC car. That's all for today. In the future, I will appear with many more projects of Hitler and many interesting facts. If you like the video, then don't forget to like and share. Subscribe and stay with us. Make sure to hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss our new episodes. Thanks so much for being with us.